Five people were again killed in Imo State on Saturday, including a policeman, as gunmen went on a rampage in the state. In the attacks carried out in different parts of the state, INEC officials were said to have sustained injuries during the issuance of PVCs. The country home of the spokesperson of the Coalition of the United Political Parties and People's Democratic Party House of Representatives candidate, Ugo Chinyere Imo, was also attacked. It was gathered that no fewer than 30 campaign vehicles of the PDP candidate were burned during the attack in his country home at the Akokwa community. The development brought to an end the PVC exercise as people scampered for safety. I have some PVC. Local government headquarters were attacked. People who came to collect their PVCs dispersed. In either term, the politician that was whose house was attacked. I have already in my security report all the meetings he had with those who don't want the election according to them in Biafra land. I have evidence with the security agencies and their meet where they met. And the people are saying that he breached the agreement. But after agreeing with them that there will be no election in Biafra land, he's contesting the election. So ask him, go and ask the, the, the security agents. Well, we are we, convening a meeting on Monday, security council meeting. This will be discussed. So in any event, why is it the target? If I run for an election, I would not want, would I go to the federal house or for that. So it cannot be a target, it cannot be a threat. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.